welcome to my channel at Rika Adorn. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how I got this voluminous long ponytail. Um, but before I get into the hair tutorial, I just wanted to share with you guys this really fun game that I've been playing for the last two weeks. It's called Best Fiends and you guys need to download it now and it's at the App Store and it's a free download game. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly run through the game so you guys can get an um, idea of what the game is before you do download it. So before I go on with this video, I just want to let you guys know that this video was sponsored by Best Fiends. But I would never share something that I don't agree on or something that I don't find personally to be fun. But you guys can all take it out since this game is completely free. So just a quick run out of what this game is all about. Um, it's a puzzle adventure game where you collect and upgrade characters by ma matching same colored objects to defeat the slugs. So the main purpose of this game is to defeat the slugs and you connect all different types of things like mushrooms, strawberries, leaves, and you connect them and that's basically what's getting you to defeat the slugs and move on to the next level. And also it has like a story to it too so it's really really entertaining and interesting. And also it's Best Fiend's birthday so you should join the 45 million people who have already played this game and also you guys can click the link in the description bar below to download the game. And also for their birthday, there um, will be amazing challenges with huge rewards, including the first Arab ever character skin, which is Howie's birthday suit. And this is a picture of Howie, if you guys don't know what Howie looks like. And I'm on currently level 30, so I want you guys to try to beat me and share your scores with me as well. But yeah, so back to this tutorial, um, I just wanted to show you guys what the hair looks like. I bought two pieces. You can order them off eBay. I did pay with this on my own money. It is $8 a piece. And the shipping takes about four to five days to get to your house or so. And it's synthetic hair, as obviously, since it is $8. Mine I have in my head right now is in the color jet black, and it is 23 inches. Um, this one is in also, I believe, 23 inches. And this one just has like a little bit more of like a wavier pattern at the ends. Um, just to show you guys the setup it's like this so the um and it comes with one comb this comb is the part that goes into your ponytail like the um hair tied to your ponytail and this is the piece that you wrap around so this part won't show and what's really nice is it has this um sticky thing so it sticks so it's not going to go anywhere which is really really great and i've seen a lot of hair tutorials that i've been watching on how to do ponytails but the thing is i don't want to buy a bundle of hair just to keep wrapping around my head because doing that i just feel like that's a lot of bobby pins and what if one bobby pin doesn't hold on to a track properly and you have your track hanging out it's just a lot i don't want to mess with with that and just taking it out every night sounds like a really big hassle and i don't want to go through that and secondly i saw also the ones where they sell the beauty supply store where you have this drawstring and you just put your hair in a tiny uh tiny bun and you put your hair in there and you have a drawstring and then you take a piece of hair and you wrap it which i've seen people do that as well but think about it that only works if maybe your hair is short or you have enough like to get your ponytail really small because for me I have a lot of hair and I know if I try to put my hair in a ponytail my ponytail is gonna be like this size and you're gonna have like this little hump and I just don't like the idea of that hump thing going on because I know that it's a ponytail extension while this is wrapping around your own hair so you actually get that whole ponytail look idea and so that's one thing that I really liked about this idea compared to the other. And also, you already have your individual piece that you're going to wrap around the hair. So you don't have to go grab a piece from this and wrap it. So I think the idea of this is amazing. And um, I have no complaints about it so far. So I'm just going to get straight to the tutorial. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a lot of fun videos coming up that I plan on posting. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so after I finish showing my ponytail, this is what it basically looks like. This is all my hair. Um, so yeah, that's how it looks like once you finish straightening it. It's way quicker than going through all your hair and straightening it, of course. It took me about 20 minutes to go through each part and straighten my hair overall in general. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, so before I start, I'm going to actually trim this because this is really long for me to keep wrapping my hair over and over again with. So I'm probably about to cut about where my finger is because I don't want it to be too overly long. I'm left with this, so I cut it down some so it's shorter than the hair. Okay, so before I apply this onto my hair, there's two things you can do. Either you can get the shininess to go away by taking baby powder. So that's the method that I'm going to do because I don't have dry shampoo. So just taking regular old baby powder you can either use baby powder or you can use translucent powder that you use on the face but um just make sure the translucent powder doesn't have any like little glitter pieces in it because mine does and that's why i'm not using that one today okay so all you do is just basically take your hair extension 
Um, and you probably want to take the powder onto something. I'm just going to put it on top of a coaster to tell my mom. <laughs> so I'm going to take some baby powder onto my coaster. I'm going to take my brush, it's just like my regular powder brush, and then I'm going to just dab that in like that. I'm just going to go through and pat it like this. And that's going to help reduce the shine in the hair. You don't want to overly do this, as in like just grab the baby powder and just put it on the hair, because when you do that, it's going to cause um, your hair to appear gray. And you don't want that. So I'm just going through. Something like this is a way less shinier than it was in the beginning. Make sure you do it on both the hair and also onto the um, piece that you're going to be wrapping your hair around. So, I'm just brushing it through, make sure that there's no like clumps of baby powder and it's distributed. Take the hair and place the comb piece into my. Um, Go into my rubber band. finish it up you can take some spray and I'm just gonna spray my hair and that's just gonna keep all the frizzies down throughout the day um, you can also do your baby hairs if you want but I'm not gonna do that today because um, I mean you can brush them out but I'm not gonna do any products on them because I don't want my hair to start um, what's the word flaking anytime I try to lay my baby hairs it starts flaking so I'm not gonna do that today yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys all in my next video.